Well, the Houston election is making headlines across the nation this morning after voters overwhelmingly said no to the city's equal rights ordinance. Prop 1 failed by a large margin, pulling only 39% of the vote. Owen is with leaders from both sides of the issue with what comes next. That's right. Good morning, Rachel. Thanks uh, a lot. We've got Pastor Dave Welch, uh, U.S. Pastor Council here with us just to my right. Dallas Jones, uh, farther on down the desk. Gentlemen, thanks for coming in today. Uh, Mr. Welch, a first reaction to you. Uh, against the Proposition 1. What did you think of the vote last night? Well, obviously, we're very pleased with the outcome, and we believe that if the people had the opportunity to vote on this measure, which we fought for over this last year uh, through the court system, uh, that uh, they would uh, speak against it for because we believe it was uh, poorly written and uh, not what represents the people of the city of Houston and our core values. So, again, we think that bore out in the outcome. But, Mr. Jones, from your side, uh, what was your reaction to the vote, and what happens next? Well, I found it unfortunate. Um, I, you know, uh, whether it was because the ordinance was poorly written or whether it was uh, a more of a, 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 a kind of a, a legal deal, the reality of it is, is that Houston sent a message um, to the rest of the country, I believe. What do you think uh, that message was? And I think the message is that uh, we're not as far as we, we probably would like to be or should be when it comes to issues of equality. Yeah. And so I, 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 that's unfortunate for our city. Um, but uh, as Pastor Welch said, the, the voters did speak last night. Yeah. Um, Pastor Welch was the, 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 the bathroom thing was the big deal. Uh, what, what, what started that? What was the issue behind that? Well, first of all, those incidents are happening all over the country. We didn't make that up. The, 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 the devil is in the details of this ordinance. The problem with it in the definitions uh, and the, the scope and breadth of this ordinance, frankly, of creating an entirely new level of bureaucracy with investigative power, criminal punitive authority uh, over in the private sector of, of Houston uh, over very minor issues. Look, the question is, if there are legitimate issues need to be resolved in the city regarding discrimination, let's talk about them. Mm -hmm. Bring people to the table. That never happened in this. Uh, legitimate civil rights leaders that are part of our coalition, Pastor F.N. Williams, uh, head of Ministers Against Crime and others, mm -hmm. were completely against this ordinance because, again, uh, what the mayor finally admitted was that this was about her, her agenda, uh, and the only groups supporting this nationally and locally, fundamentally, were the LGBT advocacy groups. And let me bring in Mr. Jones. I apologize because we're running out of time, but where do we go from here, I mean, we heard about this petition that uh, so they want to take the Super Bowl away from Houston because of this vote. What do you worry about that happens to the city because of the outcome? Well, this is exactly what we talked about during the campaign. You worry about whether or not businesses will want to establish themselves here in our city. We worry about whether or not events like Super Bowl or the Final Four will decide that they want to go to places that provide protections for the people that will enjoy those events. And so while it's, it's never my forte to uh, question the man of God, what I will say is that while there are over 200 cities in this country that have this ordinance, there have never been a single documented case of any of the things that was proposed by those that were anti the ordinance. Well, that's simply not true, and unfortunately, we have numbers of documented examples that are occurring all over the place of, of men declaring themselves women and boys declaring themselves girls. Use restrooms. But the bigger here is, and your question is, Houston's a great city that's drawing businesses and people from all over America right now and has for for years mm -hmm. so the question is why would they not come to this great city with all it has to offer because we don't have a law that didn't exist uh, a year ago that, and by the way those ordinances in other cities are not the same as Houston so those are really just not legitimate arguments the facts of this particular issue and what are the chances this gets rewritten then and brought back to City Council for well, a new vote well I think we'll see whether it's under this mayor or whether it's under the next mm -hmm. um, there will I, I suspect that we will see a different form of the ordinance that comes into play all right well, gentlemen, appreciate your time this morning. I know it's a divisive topic for a lot of folks, but we do appreciate your insight, and we'll see what happens next. Rachel, back over to you. Thank you, gentlemen. Well, we want to know if you think the defeat of Prop 1 will affect future big events here in Houston. There's already a petition, as Owen mentioned, to remove the Super Bowl from Houston in 2017. Weigh in on clicktovote.com. We're going to have the final results at the end of our newscast. Well, it's only no